Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's see how we can use the Python API to run a program that we've created on Wayscript. Let's get started. Starting out, here's a sample program that I've built that uses Python and SQL. The idea behind this script is I'll pass it a query parameter, which I'll take care of formatting with the Python step, and then write those values to a table using an SQL step. Let's say that I don't want to visit this URL to pass those query parameters, or I don't want to come to Wayscript to run this program. I can execute this program using a Python script on my own local machine. Let's see how we can do that. Here from my text editor, we first need to install the Wayscript library. To do that, we'll use the pip installer. So I'll say pip3 install and then Wayscript. I already have it, but we can go ahead and execute it and we see I already have it. If you don't have it, it'll download it so you can use it. Now we need to from Wayscript, one port Wayscript. This will give us access to the Wayscript client. And we can activate that client by something like this. So we'll say Wayscript is equal to this. The method that we want to use from the client is called run. And what this will do is execute the program that we specify. We can also pass query parameters to this execution. So in my example, the query parameter that I want to pass is a sample list. So we'll say Q and then sample list will be equal to some values. I'm expecting three in my specific script, but you can do whatever you want. You could also include multiple query parameters if you wanted to. We would do it the same way, but I just have one. So we'll stick with one. Next, we'll put the program ID. In my case, we'll go and grab it and it's right here. So we'll just copy this value and go back and paste it here. Finally, all we need to do to execute our program is say wayscript.run, so we'll access that client. Our first argument is program ID. Params will be equal to Q. We'll save the script and we'll execute our file. And then we'll go back over to Wayscript. And from our log, we see that we wrote everything that we expected to SQL. This is just one feature of the Python API that we built for Wayscript. If you want to see the full API, I'll link it in the description below so you can see how you can execute programs with password protections and a lot more. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.